friends welcome to another video from Shomu's biology in this video tutorial we'll be talking about vacuoles we'll talking about the structure and function of vacuoles vacuoles are in considerations to other organelles are not that importance given normally but it is really really important organelle in, in perspective of a plant uh, cell because vacuoles are specific organelle that is single membrane bound only so let me write the property it is a single membrane bound should be single membrane bound organelle okay and it is nothing i mean i mean normally it is only the storage part for a plant so if you have something some pigments or some some materials or some toxic wastes that you need to dump somewhere vacuole is the ideal place for a plant cell to dump those things okay and also plant cells develop so many different uh, secondary metabolites and so many different components now those components sometimes could be beneficial for us some side could be beneficial for the plant or something so if they produce those things they can put them in vacuoles it is acting as a storage unit if this in a sense it acts as a storage unit for plant cell very predominant in plants okay now if I look at uh, the structure of this vacuole in a plant cell what it will look like it will look something like this let me draw the Let's say this is the structure of a plant cell. Okay, this is the plant cell, and in this plant cell, let's say we got the nucleus, nucleus, and let's say the, the rest of the parts like mitochondria is present on all this. Now the vacuole consists of almost eighty percent of the volume of the cell. This is the complete vacuole. It's completely the cytosol present in very less in plant cells, filled with large vacuoles. This is the vacuole. Okay. So the question is why 80% of the total volume of the plant cell is containing vacuoles? The answer for that is vacuoles are very important for providing structural support to the plant cell. Why? Because vacuoles are filled with aqueous solutions. Even though, let's say, in vacuoles, sometimes there are some protein materials, some secondary metabolites are present, or maybe some toxic wastes are present, but still, it is aqueous solution, right? Water containing solution. Now, the job of this vacuole is to create pressure. The, the solution that is present inside the vacuole, it will continue to put pressure in the vacuole towards the cell wall. So the directionality of this pressure is this, like this. So what it will do? It will create pressure towards the cell wall. This is known as Targer pressure. Targer pressure. This Targer pressure is very, very important to maintain the steady and very firm structure for the plants. You know that if we bring a plant, let's say, let's say vegetables from outside any sort of vegetables that with, with this uh, green green uh, stand uh, the shoot green shoot if you take the vegetables and you see that vegetables if you bring them just just cut them out from the tree and bring them it will be stronger but if you put that for a while you'll see it gets placid now why those plant structures get placid due to the loss of a loss of water because if there is more water in the vacuoles it will start creating that turgor pressure towards the cell so it will push the vacuole towards the cell cytoplasm towards the cell it will make the cell it will make the total plant steady and firm and solid now while there is less water if, if by some means the water is out let's say you heat it a little bit the water is out now if you put it in in hot climates you'll see that tree is the firm tree become flaccid in a moment why because this heat is evaporating water from the cell so water start to come out from the cell so what it does actually the vacuole slowly start to shrink so if the vacuole start to shrink what will happen that the integrity of the cell wall is also going to be gone away and as a result the plant becomes plastic so to maintain the structure and shape of the plant vacuole plays a vital role except for that it also contains different components as i told you it could be the reservoir for storing food for a while it could be a reservoir for storing uh, let's say some secondary metabolites for a while 
uh, and also it could be also reserved for some waste materials for a while in, in case of plants. Now another thing, this vacuole can also be found in animal cells. It's not like that. It can also be found in animal cells, but in very limited amounts. Animal cells filled with nucleus, which plays a vital role, all the other organelles, but less vacuoles in animal cells. Because animal cells don't need that much of structural integrity all the time, like plants. Because plants cannot move, so they need to stay there for a while all the time to support their growth in air, in, in breeze, in rain, in all this part. That's why they need all these special facilities. Now in animal cell, if I draw the animal cell, in the animal cells you can find, let's say this is the nucleus, the, the ultimate unit, the nucleus. Okay. Now in, a, in this animal cell you will see that vacuoles are present, small vacuoles. No vacuoles are present in animal cell, but the vacuoles are smaller in size. And those vacuoles are not that much bigger and their functionality is not to maintain the structure. In this case, even in cell you won't see two or three vacuoles. Even if you find it will be very smaller compared to the nuclear size, it will be much smaller. Very small size vacuoles are present. And actually, in this case of animal cell, the vacuoles that are present contains some food particle or contains something that needs to be delivered outside the cell or can contain something that is that after the engulfment those those vacuoles are generally uh, generated so that is the idea of, of of animal cell and in animal cell those vacuoles are generated and produced from the part of golgi bodies or er which is endoplasmic reticulum so from endoplasmic reticulum or golgi apparatus small vesicles pinched out and they will form these vacuoles or let's say uh, the cell engulf a food from outside in a phagocytosis pathway. Let's say there is a food somewhere here. They will start engulfing that. So it will engulf that. After the engulfment, let's say this is the phagocytis, uh, phagos, phagosome where it is being engulfed. And inside, let's say, that molecule is now inside the phagosome. Now this phagosome can act as a vacuole after some time. Let's say it will fuse with a vacuole. The vacuole is filled with some enzymes which will help degrading this particle, this food particle. Then it can fuse and maintain the task. So in case of animals, the role of vacuoles are different compared to the role of vacuoles in plants. But they can be found in animals. Okay? And in animals, they are derived from Golgi apparatus and endoplasmic reticulum, which are also made with sacs. So many different sac-like elements, they are joined one after another to make ER and from the ER to make Golgi apparatus. And finally, if you pinch something out, the, the vesicle out from the Golgi, it will form the vacuole. The vacuole can store some enzymes and toxic materials also in animals, but not the structural support. So that in a sense, is the structure and function of vacuoles both in plants and in animals. So I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel. Thank you.